Hey guys, it's Bub here, and this year we're taking a look at the latest version of Rectify 11, which is Rectify 11 version 3.1. Now this version came out, I believe, in October or November of 2023, um, and the last time we took a look at Rectify 11 was in August, and we took a look at version 3.0 RC2. Since then, obviously a lot has happened, including the new release of Rectify 11, as well as Windows 11 23H2, what is currently installed on this machine and what we'll be testing with. With all the new changes in 23H2, as well as the new version of Rectify 11, what will this look like? If you don't know, Rectify 11 is a package that aims to kind of fix your computer, fix Windows 11, and tweak it to be more usable in a way. Um, first things first, we cannot install Rectify 11 as there is a pending reboot which is currently installing this cumulative update. So I'm going to go ahead and let this install and then we'll be back to uh, install Rectify 11. Alright, and now that our Windows update has installed that rudely uh, interrupted us from creating this video, it's now time to install Rectify 11. So I really like this installer. Um, it just looks really modern. I'm going to select everything just because you know we want the full Windows experience. So let's not create a restore point. We don't need one because we're only installing Rectify 11 on a test VM. Um, in a real world situation, if you were to ever use this, again, I would highly recommend that you, you, you do take a restore point. But nonetheless, here we go. It is currently installing themes. Um, and installation of Rectify 11 has failed. Um, and it appears the reason for that is Windows Defender. Um, so that's fun. Why don't we disable Windows Defender? We'll turn off real-time protection. Um, again, these are things that we're actively running into, things that you would probably see on a day-to-day -day environment um, if you were to install this. So I'm glad that we're running into them because they are actually things I've never run into before. Like I've, I have installed this, I think it's the fourth time we've looked at Rectify 11, we've looked at all the versions so far, and that's the first time I've seen that error. All right, and Tiny 11, or Rectify 11 rather, has finished installing. We're gonna go ahead and restart now. That actually did take quite a bit of time. I'm not sure why, and I don't recall it taking that much time in previous versions of Rectify 11, uh, but for some reason this one took quite a while. And here we go, booting into the desktop. I'm very excited to see the changes that were made to our system. Now keep in mind, I don't recommend doing this on a day-to-day -day system, no matter how good it looks, just because updates could break it in the future, um, and it could eventually make your system not stable. Now again, nothing against the developer. I, I mean, this is a very amazing operating system. So here we go. First things first, um, new background. The cursor is different. Um, we have Rectify 11 Control Center on our desktop. We just got prompted with a UAC prompt. Um, and I believe transparency got turned off. But all right, welcome to Windows 11, or Rectify 11. Let's take a look in the Control Center first and let's see what is here. Um, so this does actually open in Control Panel, which is pretty cool. It does look like it injected itself under appearance and personalization, although it does appear to now be not responding, so that's cool. Let's see if I can open another window here or not. Uh, looks like we're going to have to go into Task Manager to force quit the application, which is not something that, there we go. So we can enable MICA or use tabbed instead of MICA. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of other themes here that apparently change as soon as you click on them. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, let's stick with the light theme. Um, uh, we can change, uh, that's not what I want to do. I'm already not having a good time with this operating system, which is really weird because I typically love Rectify 11. Um, moving down the list, uh, we can change settings that are unavailable. There we go. We can change between our menu options, see what version we're using, um, all sorts of things in that nature. Um, that is not what I wanted to do. Okay. Moving into the taskbar, we can see that most things look the same. I mean, there's nothing really extraordinary here except whatever those are. Um, and then there's Micah for Everyone, which is an app that Rectify 11 depends on. Taking a look in the Start menu, we can see two things are added, including gadgets and eight gadget pack tools. So these two are related. So it does look like Rectify 11 brings back gadgets to the system. 
which are pretty cool. I want to add a gadget. Or never mind, it brings back a entire sidebar. Um, that is not what I was expecting, but okay. Um, might be a little bugged right now. Okay, that's not working. That's cool. Um, any other apps that were installed? I mean, I'm not seeing anything like Rectify 11 Control Center. That's about it. Um, let's just take a look at some general UI things because I mean, we noticed everything just generally that looks more refined here. So settings looks about the same. Um, going into Control Panel because I know that's where they really focused a lot of their stuff was in Explorer. I mean, you can see all new icons here, all new fonts, and it matches Windows 11. I mean, this truly is what Windows should look like, but rather they choose to not update the legacy aspects. Um, if we open File Explorer here, we can see that I just think this blends beautifully with the new File Explorer. Um, although the fact that the text is off is a little strange. Um, now I can't actually see anything in the File Explorer. Um, maybe I need to log in and log back out after I change those settings. Um, but nonetheless, that is still an issue to take a look at and keep in mind. Again, not daily driving this. Um, ooh, our context menu was different. We can see um, it is skinnier than the one in Windows 11. Um, gadgets are an option. Um, more options shows the display settings. Um, and overall, it, it blends everything in Windows 11 to look more like Windows 11. To me, this feels like a unified operating system where everything was built in consideration of each other if that makes any sense compared to what we have now where some things are windows 10 some things are windows 11 this is really just i mean control panel even matches the font and things of, like that so this is just really i love this operating system i always have um too bad it didn't get rid of this little uh ad or icon down here i really don't like that and i'm not entirely sure how to get rid of it Right clicking on the taskbar does bring up more options than settings and task manager. We get windows, task manager, taskbar settings, desktop, uh, and settings. Taskbar settings takes you right there. One thing that people complained about with Windows 11 was the lack of task manager in the right click menu of the taskbar. And I know they brought it back, but in the time it took for them to bring it back, I just got used to right clicking on the start button and then going to task manager. And that's still how I do it to this day. Just a little side note thing because that's that's just how I that's still how I do it. Um, add gadgets is not working. Looks like our sidebar is a little bugged here. I'm not really sure why. But yeah, that's really Rectify th 11 version 3.1. It again a great improvement on a already great product. I really love this, and I can't wait to see what the future is in store with Windows 11 24H2. Um, as well as possibly Windows 12. So that being said, keep it up, developers. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe from your out here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.